We've been living and working remotely in beautiful Rincon, Puerto Rico for the last month, and it has been an awesome experience. As we're getting ready to say goodbye, we're feeling a mix of emotions. We're sad to be leaving all the amazing places and experiences behind, but we're also grateful for the memories we've made. Before we go, we wanted to share some of our favorite things from our time in Rincon that we'll miss dearly. So we brought you down to the beach today because obviously this is one of the places that we are going to miss. <laughs> we love the beaches here in Puerto Rico. They look like paradise, almost every single one that we visit. There's always like palm trees that you can find some shade under. It's just really pretty. So Rincon has like so many like nice little beaches, whether it's domes or Maria Beach or the beach that we're on right now. There's a lot of little beaches and they all have like these little nooks and stuff where you can kind of get away and kind of almost have your own like private area and you can't beat the water i mean if you love water sports this water is so warm yeah. and it's just so blue and beautiful so definitely going to be missing that now sticking with the beach theme the next thing we're going to be missing is our walks on the beach We've been doing a lot of daily walks and up and down the beach here in front of our condo and we just absolutely enjoy it. Yeah, it's been really nice. It kind of breaks up the day for us, especially when we get stuck working in the condo all day. We know we can at least come down here and walk along the beach and it's nice and pretty and yeah, we'll definitely miss that. Yeah, it's kind of like a little moment to kind of like zen out and just like reset. So absolutely gonna miss that and the views from here are just absolutely amazing too. Mm -hmm. So another favorite thing that we have really liked to do in uh, in our time here in Rincon is visit the lighthouse and that's where you can just uh, go sit and have a drink have some good food and watch the surfers at Domes Beach. <laughs> yeah, I just absolutely love it. I mean, I don't surf, but I love watching everybody else do it. Yeah. Um, and even when there's like not good waves or anything, it's just such a beautiful vantage point. You have just the wonderful views. Again, there's a theme here. The views are amazing. <laughs> so you got these beautiful views of Mona Passage out here. And uh, yeah, it's just phenomenal. Mm -hmm. Plus the lighthouse is pretty complex is pretty neat too. It's a great place for whale watching if you have a chance as well. Lots of benches and things. Yeah, and the park is nice. You can just walk around and sit and enjoy the afternoon. We talked about watching the surfers from the lighthouse. Well, our next one is actually watching the surfers, but this time from Maria's Beach. It's definitely a, probably a better area to go to actually see way more surfing action at least from while we've been here mm -hmm. um, and it's nice too because you can be right on the beach you've got again lots of shade and you watch people learn how to surf and you can watch the pros mm -hmm. so i really enjoyed that as well so another thing we're going to miss here in Rincon and puerto rico is all the good food we can eat oh man <laughs> it's so good yeah and the cheap drinks. Um, Which I like. Yeah, they've actually, <laughs> the drinks here are actually really reasonable. Mm -hmm. um, beers are what, around maybe two or three dollars? No, I mean like even cheaper than that. Cheaper. You can get like a canned beer for anywhere from dollar oh, fifty yeah, to, to two bucks for, you know, a 10 or 12 ounce beer in a lot of places. So, which is really awesome. All the drinks are great too. You've got like, the mojitos. mojitos. <laughs> There's a lot of really good mojitos. Yeah. You can find pretty much anywhere. Mm -hmm. um, pina coladas and all that stuff, you know, six to eight bucks for a pretty good uh, drink like that. So you gotta love that. And the food's actually really reasonably priced as well, which we've really enjoyed. And like Michelle said, super tasty. Mm -hmm. Not only just the Puerto Rican food, like the mofongo and, um, and the, the fritters, which are really, really good. In fact, we're going to miss the fritters at uh, De Boca in Rincon. Those are out of this world there. And of course, you can't beat the view and the weather having those drinks. So whether they be sundowners, yep. watching the sunset, 
or just being able to sit outside and enjoy the absolutely gorgeous 80 degree weather. <laughs> yeah. Especially in March yeah. <laughs> or January or something <laughs> like that. We've still got two more things that we're really going to miss. But for that, we're going to have to go back up into the condo because we actually have to pack. It is our last day after all, and we're going to be heading onward. We're still not out of leaving Puerto Rico yet. We have a few more days here, um, but we'll go upstairs and start packing and then talk about that. All right, so we've actually had to come back up to the condo because, as we said before, this is our last day in Rincon, which means... Yeah, we have to pack, <laughs> which is a bummer. <laughs> yeah, it means but, we have to leave. Yeah, yeah, we gotta leave. But we're actually not leaving Puerto Rico yet. We are traveling over to San Juan, specifically Old San Juan, so we can go explore that area. Yeah, I'm super stoked about that. So, all right, for that to happen, we actually have to get the packing part done, so... We'll go ahead and do that real quick. Be right back. All right, so that's the majority of the packing done. There's still a few more things left, but I thought I'd take a moment to talk about our final thing, the thing that we love the most about being our time here in Rincon and that we're gonna miss. And that's actually the location. It's where we're staying at right now in the city itself. Where we're staying at, we're just like five minutes from the downtown area of Rincon, and it's been a fantastic home base for us. Not only is, gives us a chance to kind of get a whole lot of places really easily, um, but the condo itself is really cool. The property that we're at is, it's a little bit older, but it's got everything you need and even the best part about it is you have, it's got amazing views. Views that I get to sit here and like work and edit pictures and videos and stuff here on my laptop. And I can just look out and just be inspired by these absolutely gorgeous views. So speaking of the views that Joel was talking about, this is our view that we've had pretty much for the last month. And it's just been so nice. We get to look out at the water every day and it's always changing. It's always like a pretty like blue, teal, green. It's all the blue colors. <laughs> um, then there's actually a couple of cows down here in this field. And it's just, it's been fun listening to them. Um, there's one that's very talkative and moves a lot. So we hear that a lot. And there's actually a little baby uh, that we that we see run around a lot, so that's kind of fun. So we'll definitely miss that. Um, you can also hear the palm trees, all the birds, the the beautiful like green kind of tropical birds here, and the blackbirds. And we can also actually hear the waves crashing uh, at night, especially. And our last but not least is the sunset. We are going to miss the sunsets here. Uh, they have been pretty epic, I would say, and that's probably pretty normal. Yep, right there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, for the west side of the island, if you are interested in coming, we would definitely recommend it. It's beautiful here. It's paradise. We hope this video has given you a couple of reasons to visit the west side of Puerto Rico, specifically the Rincon area. And if you haven't put Puerto Rico on your bucket list, definitely make sure you do that. Absolutely. Uh, speaking of that, we do have more Puerto Rico videos coming your way, as well as some already we've done. You can look up in one of these corners for a playlist to watch those. And speaking of which, if you haven't already, please like this video so we can know to do more of them, as well as subscribe so you can follow along with us. And one other thing, if you guys are interested in staying in the place that we're at right now, I will put a link below here in the description so you can check that out and see if you can book it for yourself. Thanks for watching, guys. Happy wondering. Happy wondering. You almost got him. I didn't mean to scare him. <laughs>